Payment system and how much of a disaster that it was last year during the pandemic. The governor and others requested audits, investigations, reform, but the session ended last week. Lawmakers didn't get a reform bill passed. Our Liz Crawford found out why. We need to make sure that we are doing everything to get people back to work today. Our focus this session was making sure that people have access to the workforce. Two of the most powerful voices in the Florida legislature, both from Tampa Bay, Senate President Wilton Simpson and House Speaker Chris Sprouls, emphasizing getting people back to work rather than paying people who are out of work. 275, 375 would still be among the cheapest in the nation for unemployment payout. And you know what, there's a lot of businesses who have been suffering as well businesses who thought they were going to have to shut their doors, shutter their life's work. They laid off their employees, but they're starting to get back on their feet. The worst thing that we could do is raise their taxes, which is what you're suggesting by raising it to 375. That'd be a massive tax increase on business. Up until a few weeks ago, a bill that would have increased the weekly unemployment payout appeared to have bipartisan support. Right now, the most someone can get is 275 bucks a week. The bill would have increased that to 375, but lawmakers didn't get it done. I believe that one of the main reasons why this was not successful is because of Governor Ron DeSantis, who made a comment uh, during a press conference that Florida's weekly benefit amount was fine. Our unemployment is, is, is what it is. It's fine. Our goal is to get people back to work. That statement killed our efforts. Lawmakers did agree to put millions into modernizing the technology of the Connect system to make it a cloud-based operation rather than an internet server. Here's a sharper insight though into how Florida's unemployment benefits compare to the rest of the country. The $275 weekly max, fifth lowest in the US. Massachusetts, that's the most. They pay out $1,220 per week. Florida though is tied with North Carolina for the top for shortest duration of benefits, paying out for 12 weeks. Massachusetts, they also have the longest compensation time paying benefits for 30 weeks.